Peace to the world. New toys. I went on a shopping spree. You're dead. And I got us this here GoPro Max. I think it's a GoPro Max. This is a GoPro Max yes. waterproof case, so I Max. hope it's a Max. I feel like, isn't this waterproof anyways? The, the, well, look know, look you, on the side, it says Max. You, you bought a waterproof case, so. Chest harness, head harness, waterproof case. What does this call this? Joystick, not a joystick. What's this called? Do you open it? Yeah. A stick. A stick, uh, selfie stick. So you can like dunk it on the water. But you know what's coolest about this? What? Twist that orange thing. Twist it. Open it up. Oh, there's nothing in it. The picture had a hundred dollar bill in there. What? Really? You put money in there. Money, keys. Drop it in the water. Ah! It floats. Hold it and stick it underwater like the wildcats did. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we're going kayaking. We bought these kayaks and we haven't really had a chance to think about, but we're so excited to do it today. Like that? Perfect. I can't tell which direction the camera's pointed at though. Like, is it pointed down? Is it pointed up? Fuck. It hurts my. It's supposed to be on your hat, but I'm afraid the wind's gonna blow my hat off. So I just said it on my forehead. Does it look busy? Alright, first one to the shore is the winner. There's kind of a beachy area over there. Should we go over there? <laughs> I'm after ya! the kayak game. I think that this has been a very fun time. Oh yeah? I think that Crow might be the new paddle master. <laughs> How did you find this? He said, at least it's butt to butt and not butt to face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go backwards because the wind came on. <laughs> Hey, come tell me! How many years did it take us to get kayaks and how do you feel right now? We've been talking about kayaks now for, well, two years? I feel like longer than that. We finally got them. Yeah. I feel like it was worth it, but I feel like this is a good age for Crow. Now he can do it. Soon he's going to be brave enough to do it on his own. Can I hold it? Hey! 
Betty. I have it. How am I supposed to hold this? Yeah. I'm holding it. Your dad doesn't have the paddle. Alright. Ah, splashing me. That's a good sign. And now he wants ice cream. Should we get him ice cream? Let's go. That's awesome. Oh, that face deserves ice cream. That's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. We watched this documentary last night, Kiss the Ground. On Netflix. It's just talking about how, like, through having healthy soil and having our ground cover, we're pulling the all the extra carbon that we are emitting into the air we're pulling it into the ground and it's held in the ground so essentially overall it creates a much healthier cycle of life through everything it's a fascinating documentary it's so educational and i'm so happy that i watched it you guys should go watch it kiss the ground on netflix but all of that led us to what we are going to do today this little community that we live in has a plant they make compost out of Cardboard, biosolids, which is human sewage, poo poo, and cardboard and wood chips. It's a whole process. They mix it together. They heat it really hot so it get all the pathogens out of there. And we're gonna go get a bunch of it right now to so apparently yeah. put in our garden. Matt's growing <laughs> gardens out of it. I'm sure it's safe. It's fine, but it seems a little weird. Here's the thing. After like watching it, I did some research. Is it safe? to use in your garden. It is. It is one of the most natural cycles of life. Us as humans, it's hard for us to get past the idea of using soil that is like, was a process of. <laughs> you go to the hardware store and you buy a bag of soil and a lot of the, what you can buy on the shelves is made exactly this way. But essentially, there is human in the soil that you're buying from the hardware store or yeah. your local nursery. This is a year of learning for us, right? Like we're talking about raising animals for the first time ever for us to be food. Same thing, part of the circle of life is our soil and trying to get past sort of the stigmas and the ideas of the things that we're taught like growing up in like more urban cities that we're like, oh, it's hard, like you shy away from the idea of eating an animal that you've raised or, or using your to make soil. We're biting the bullet, we're jumping in, and we're going to uh, venture sure. into healthy soil. Yeah, Just and we're putting it everywhere. We're putting it on our lawn. In our trees, in our bushes. Everywhere. I'm using the compost in plants where we eat the fruit fruit that comes off of the plant. I'm not carrots. using it for any root vegetables. Like I'm not gonna use it for carrots, beets, onions. For that I'm all Why using Why don't we go get it? And see first. And see if I, I just picture it being like logs of turds and That's stuff. not what it's gonna yeah, be just, like. We could talk all day rambling about this, but the point is you should just go watch the documentary because they're gonna say it much more eloquently than us. Two truckloads. Two truckloads. Let's go. scoop of poop. <laughs> no, look at that beautiful healthy soil. Ah, oh, the problem with this old truck, that's just gonna come through this air. Last time we got wood chips, there were little tiny wood shavings coming through this air the whole drive home. I'm gonna have this stuff just filling up the inside of this truck. Dang. Guys, 
I'm not gonna lie. It smells like poop. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this in my garden. I'll put it on the lawn. The garden, food I eat. I don't know. I thought it was just gonna smell like soil that you buy from the store. It's uh, a bit more ripe smelling. I'm curious what Blue's gonna say. He started talking to me, so I had to open my door, and it it's all over, it's everywhere in my truck. So. The initial smell, it smells like compost. Kinda of smells poopy to me. I kinda like it. <laughs> I'm home, I'm at the garden. It is so windy outside though. Oh, that's gonna make doing this not as fun. The noise stop. Blue and I are working separately. I'm gonna start filling the garden with my load. Blue is going to start spreading it over the lawn to help us get a big lush green lawn. You preparing for the blowback? So windy. I'm not taking any chances. I don't want it in my eyes. I don't want it in my mouth. It's just blowing away. Right now the winds are 28 miles per hour. Five per hour doesn't matter. What matters are the gusts that are like 48 miles per hour. And we're spreading sh in the middle of it. However, I will say this is a lot easier than... Boom. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a little nervous about the consistency difference. Like, will stuff grow in just this compost alone? It doesn't have as much of the like dirty aspect of it. It's very separated. Yeah, because it's not wet. That's what dirt does too when you pick it up. No, look at over here. Like That's that. the same thing. All right. Look, I have a beautiful garden. All right, well, I have the start of a beautiful garden. I got some raised beds. I got some tomatoes in. For this one, I had to mix some compost with some uh, of our native soil. Oh, I think it's gonna be beautiful. What is that guy? It's the parsley. <laughs> one little tiny parsley. I know, out of all the parsley seeds I planted, I got one little guy. Yeah.